to feel. I have been sick the past two days. I hate being sick. I feel like I'm sick a lot. And that sucks because I'm super healthy. So why am I always sick? I don't know. But it's given me time to practice my sign language. I've been practicing sign language for like five hours a day. So I want to say I'm getting good, but I'm not getting good. That's like somebody coming to their to boxing class and then a month later being like, I'm getting good. And it's like, "Mm, you're not that good. So I'm not that good at sign language. But one day, one day I will be fluent because I am so determined to learn. I want to get so good at sign language. And I you people don't know. They don't know. Uh, I don't know. The reason why I want to get good at sign language is... I don't know. I've just always wanted to learn sign language since I was a little girl. And then um, I've encountered, which I'm sure many people have encountered, you know, deaf people in their lives. But a lot of times when I go to my autograph signings, I'll meet deaf people and they come up to me and I've always been known how to sign my name. And um, I don't know. I just feel like... It would be such a str- like it would be so frustrating to be deaf and not be able to communicate with many people. Um, it's not like you know when you're from another country and like you're you speak Spanish and so many people speak Spanish, you know, that are from your country. It's like when you're deaf, you're just kind of like born that way, and and very few people understand you or even take the time to learn sign language. So. I'm taking the time to learn sign language and very passionate about it and I'm really excited. Um, So I hope that I can start communicating with deaf people when they come to my autograph signings. And I mean, obviously not just for that, but I just really like sign language. (laughs) And I really don't like being sick and I need to get better and I don't know how I got sick. So I just have a sore throat, a little bit of a fever. My manager's texting me. (laughs) I hope he's watching my live feed. Hello, Brian Butler. Oh, texting me again. It's probably just some stupid emoji. (laughs) Oh, again. You know what I hate when people, like, they send you, like, five, the four. He just sent me four messages. They send you all these messages and they can just easily just put it in one text message just write your thought down in one text message this isn't me signing i can't sign right now because i'm i'm holding my phone up in my left hand and i'm laying in bed hi everyone with my right so nice boobs yeah i don't think so Boob itches. Itchy boob. Probably need a shower. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I just want to say hi. I don't think I've done a... Hope you get better signing. Sign language is so cruel. Yes, it is, Brendan. Sign language is so cool. Coach wants to know if I'm barefoot. Yes, I'm barefoot. I don't like to wear socks to bed. I feel like they get like... I don't know. I feel claustrophobic when I wear socks to bed. It's like I, they always have to be off. Like I can't, I can't wear socks to bed. And I used to not be able to, to sleep with my feet dangling off the bed. Cause I always felt like an alligator or like a monster was going to like reach up and grab them. But now I always sleep with my feet dangling off the bed and this is new. So I don't know. It's pretty new. I've been drinking water and coffee all day. And I had some apples with honey and cocoa nibs. Or cacao nibs. I don't know. Speaking of cacao nib. So the last time I was at an acai bowl place. It had like cacao nibs in it. And I literally, like there was a rock.